I was very struck by an observation by Professor Orla Feely during her inaugural lecture as president of UCD on Monday evening. She pointed out that the ratio of students to staff in Irish universities is, as she put it, much, much worse than it was during the economically bleak 1980s. Then in UCD, the student to faculty ratio was about 13 to 1. Now it is over 20 to 1. And she described this as the single biggest threat to higher education. And I know that this is a view widely shared in the higher education sector. Now, in the recently published OECD Education at a Glance document, Ireland is second uh, from the bottom for student-faculty ratio in tertiary education. And this is not news to the government. Last year, to much fanfare, Minister Simon Harris published Funding the Future with a press release claiming that it settles the question on funding higher education. It identified an annual shortfall of £307 million for the sector for what is known as core funding. This core funding is the crucial funding the universities need uh, to tackle issues such as staff-student ratios, and it is in addition to the funding needed for future demographic increases, capital, funish, uh, capital funding, not capital punishment, and research funding. Now, the government made that promise, and they should keep that promise. In last year's budget, however, only 40 million of additional core funding was provided, not even keeping up when you factor in a pay a re, a restoration and so on. The Irish Universities Association highlighted that if the annual rate of funding increase were to continue at the budget 23 rate of 40 million, it would take eight years to close the gap. And of course, by that stage, the 307 million would be a very dated figure. That would leave a funding deficit of 1 billion over the eight years if you add it up. Now, there is a reluctance generally among university heads to talk down the quality of our higher education product. But the green jersey of national pride is giving way to the red flag of warning as the Times higher education um, ratings and rankings show that our teaching and learning scores across the higher education uh, are dire. There is anxiety that we have missed the Brexit bounce with many international students not taking up places, not least because of the chronic shortage of accommodation. There is great anxiety in the sector that if an accelerated funding programme is not apparent in this year's budget, our higher education sector will languish and find it impossible to meaningfully address student-staff ratios and to deliver an adequately resourced education service. Now, one mechanism to deliver the funding, the extra funding, in parallel to the estimates would be to leverage the massive surplus in the National Training Fund and create a skills fund. And if this was done right, it could release funds to help our universities address the national skills deficit in areas like healthcare, STEM, digitisation and construction. In cl conclusion, Thank I might you. just say, Chai that we like to tell ourselves that we value education in Ireland, but it's also said, show me your budget and I'll show what you value. We need the government to keep its promise now. Thank Hello, you. Margaret. Thank you. Uh, Senator Paul Gavin.